Hi, everybody. Welcome to the new episode of your Frederish podcast. My name is Gary, and I'm your host for tonight. So, as no surprise for anyone, you just go to your bedroom, to your living room, sit down, relax, go grab your popcorn, beer, juice, whatever it takes, as you know, to relax and just come with us. Um, Because tonight we're going to talk about something really, really, really interesting. That is, how much can you benefit from reading books as a learner of English, all right? So, in other words, how much can it help you uh, speed up or, or boost up, if you will, your learning process, okay? And you just didn't hear it wrong. I, I, I'm not generic here. I'm, I'm really talking about books, okay? I'm not talking about any kind of read, okay? Although they're all important, okay? Reading magazines, HQs, you know, it's all great. It's all good. It, it, it all can benefit, can really benefit you, and you know, as far as learning English is concerned. But I'm, I want to be specific here and really, really tackle it directly to the books, all right? Um, well, it's no surprise to anyone that in, in Brazil, people are, people are much, you know, big readers, if I can put it this way. Um, meaning we don't have the habit in Brazil of reading books. Well, I am a big, I happen to be a big fan of books. I really love reading. I, I do it every day, uh, at least a little bit, but I do it every day. Um, and I am, I could, you know, if I had to, to place a bet, I would say that you, that who are, who are listening to me right now, an English learner, probably like, you know, pro probably have your fair share of reading, you know, uh, if not books, but anything else, but especially, specifically books. Okay. Uh, what, what is the difference in this purpose between, uh, books and, and, anything else as far as reading is concerned. Um, well, number one, books are much, mu much, much more, much, much more, way more challenging when it comes to picturing things, okay? Uh, for example, if you're reading a magazine or even a, a, a comics, for example, you tend to have a few pictures or maybe lots of them, um, which is okay, no problem, right? Not by any means bad mouthing it or, or criticizing it no not at all but um it is more comfortable to your brain to you know to to jump into the story okay uh while with the books your brain has to be much more creative like you have characters you have descriptions of these characters depending on the author those descriptions are very um precise and there's not much uh work for the matter uh, to your brain to do uh in terms of creating picturing uh, picturing the 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 characters of the book in in your head in your mind all right um but usually in books if you pay attention we don't have much you know uh we don't have many details okay about the the appearance of the the characters so at the end of the day it is up to you aka your brain <laughs> uh to fill up the gaps basically right um that is you know coming up mentally with the the image of the the characters of the book right and not only the characters anything else okay the the, the landscapes involved the places you know uh everything literally okay uh in a book okay so by doing that uh, in your target language uh, in this case english uh i really believe that this will uh, power up your your vocabulary learning process because uh, one of the things I always talk about when it comes to vocabulary is the the connection you make uh, with uh, words okay uh, and feelings or in this case more precisely pictures images all right uh, it is no surprise to anyone that the more connections a word you know bring to your to your brain uh, the, the better, the better the chances of you re recalling it at the end of the day, or even uh, days later, or, or 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 more or longer. All right. Um, so by doing this, by reading, you know, descriptions and picturing uh, places or, or faces or whatever, um, I really believe, as I said, I will just say it again. 
uh, it, it it has a big potential of powering up powering up your your retaining of vocabulary process if you can if I can put it this way all right so this is step number one I would say like this is the first reason the main reason why I love reading books in English okay um, or or any of the other languages I I, I can uh, read or speak uh, for this reason okay this can this is a big potential all right. Uh, okay, uh, also, not to mention this, also, you will come across, inevitably come across many, many words while reading a book, okay? Uh, and if we're, we're talking about English specifically here, uh, English is a very, very large language as far as vocabulary is concerned, okay? Um, I'm not really sure, absolutely sure, but I remember reading or, you know, or, or hearing it somewhere uh, some time ago, that English has got like 2 million words in its vocabulary, okay? Um, yeah, if it's not 2 million words, it, it's not far because you can count the, the phrasal verbs, you know? And when I say you can count, is that uh, it's not me talking, it's not me saying that. The, the, the grammarians, you know, the guys responsible to, to tell it, uh, consider each phrasal verb uh, a specific, specific words, and I agree with them, okay? It makes total sense, but that's not the point here. Um, the point here is, no matter how advanced you are, okay, um, if you read a book in English, you're probably gonna come across lots of words you, you hadn't, you know, uh, you hadn't come across before, you hadn't met, quote unquote, before, okay? Um, and of course they will, this will, you know, uh, whether you believe it or not, enrich your your communication skills, uh, you know, big time, <laughs> all right? Um, so yeah, totally that, right? Um, and also, okay, as a step number three, I'm not counting steps here in this episode, okay, as, a, as an exception to the others. Um, but yeah, um, having fun in the process, okay, uh, it's very, it's very, uh, it's fundamental, all right? It's paramount, in my opinion, because the more you have fun, you know, uh, in the language, the more, the more common, you know, the more natural it will, uh, the more natural it comes, it, it becomes to you, basically, okay? Uh, and the more natural a language becomes to you, the better, and, you know? Um, because at the end of the day, what anyone learning a language is studying, you know, working off uh, their their brains uh, to learn, to memorize words, to memorize grammar concepts, is to speak as easily and, and as naturally as possible, right? Um, and by reading stories, you know, in English, you know, in the original language, always it's always better, but here in English, right? Uh, one, lack of options you're never gonna have, you know, uh, for real, okay? Um, I don't have the numbers here, but I, I, I'm about to say, I wanna say that English is the language with the, the largest literature, uh, you know, background, okay? Again, I don't have the numbers here, may, maybe there's more in other languages, but it's much more preeminent in English, all right? Um, you know, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to bring any examples here. But you, you guys know that when we talk about literature, English is by far uh, the top language, right? Uh, even for non-native speaker uh, authors, okay. It may, there are many authors writing in in English, okay. Uh, whose first language is uh, whose first language is in English, okay. Um, so yeah, okay. There lack of options you won't have, okay. Uh, and two, lack of good content, okay? Uh, you won't have, you know, you won't, you won't feel, you won't miss any uh, good content in terms of there will be so much, there is so much good stuff out there that, you know, you, you're, you're gonna even feel like, hey, I, 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 I wish I could live 200, 300 years of age <laughs> in order to read everything I, uh, it's out there, you know? It's it's a shame somehow to say, but uh, that's it, you know? Um, okay, so um, also uh, it's important to, to note, notice that I'm, I'm not specifically, although preferably, 
uh, referring to physical books, okay? Uh, audiobooks are great too, right? Uh, and again, everything I have said so far for, you know, it, it counts for, you know, audiobooks too, okay? Um, and to be honest, these days, Listening to audiobooks makes much more sense than reading physical books. It hurts me somehow to say that, but it, it is, you know, like much of us, many of us, um, like take like long hours just in the commuting process every day, like going, commuting means going from home to work or university, you know, and vice versa, right? Um, so you're in the bus, you know, you're on the bus, you're, you know, in your car. Um, all right. Okay. You have to be careful with, depending on the situation you're driving, you have to be paying attention to the traffic. Of course, that's needless to say. And, but on the bus, you have to be careful with, you know, dangerous situations, but it is inevitable that it can be, uh, healthily and well. Uh, the, 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 these periods of time can be well, healthily and well um, uh, used, for that matter, uh, if you really have like uh, headphones, which is something that almost everyone has today, uh, and good content on your cell phone or, or MP3 player or you know something like that. Um, and of course, that will will inevitably, as I always say. Uh, get you closer to to the language you know in the terms of you will have more um for lack of a better word compatibility with the language okay meaning that the the moment you hear someone speaking the language you're familiar with that you know even when you don't understand much of it uh you'll be familiar with that will be more familiar with that of course i'm not just advocating for you to you know start listening to stuff uh, at very very basic level okay that can, that can work somehow but that's not the the best strategy and I really fear that you will get demotivated you know uh, because you're not gonna understand much you know at the beginning inevitably um, so that's it you know that's the the, the the good things the best things that reading books in English can can bring can 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 bring to the table in order to uh, speed up and benefit to your to your learning you know uh, process um, and I really I really could say that you know even I, I even could speak much more about it about reading in general you know um, it's I have to be honest with you dear listener um, it's hard for me to conceive that most of people not only in Brazil but anywhere else uh, most people don't read at least i'm gonna be very very reasonable here at least one page of the book of a book every day okay um i i would count magazines here uh but magazines are are you know it's different and nothing against magazines i love reading them and there are multiple uh, types of magazines out there you know from from science stuff to to gossip you know uh but it's it it's very hard for me to, to live with, with the fact that most people don't like reading, you know, uh, even listening audiobooks, you know, um, it's, it's hard for me. That's all I, I, I got to say. Um, so if you're listening to me right now, don't take this as a criticism, you know, although it is a little bit, but with due respect, of course, oh, respect in the universe. Um, don't 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 take it the wrong way uh and if you don't like reading i would really like to encourage you to give it a chance okay um and by doing that and i promise i'll, I'll finish up this episode by by saying that uh and i really would like you to listen to me and take it to your heart in your good sense in the good sense of, of it right uh taking take into your bed take into your pillow as they say right <laughs> um that is if you don't read uh it is because if you don't like reading more specifically it is because you haven't found your book okay what do i mean by my book a book you love you love so much that you will wake up in the morning you you will wash your face brush your teeth and you feel like 
you know, just sitting down and, and jumping to the, the pages of it, okay? Um, and you will find this book, okay? Uh, and for this, I really would like to advocate for free. I'm not getting paid, of course, uh, especially because the person I'm gonna mention here, the offer of this uh, strategy, at least the one I heard uh, saying that for the first time, uh, was the late professor uh, Pierluigi Piazzi. It was a, a, a professor, okay, uh, and professor, I, I mean professor for real, like he would teach in universities, uh, but he was a teacher and professor and everything. Um, he he would say he's uh, uh, deceased, it's been almost 10 years or a little bit more than 10 years. And uh, as I said, I don't know if he's the author of this idea, but I heard from him the, the first and only i never heard anyone else saying that so i'm gonna just ctrl c ctrl v his words basically um that is the strategy is okay and i promise i finish off after this this the tip okay um you you catch a book in your hands okay and start reading it okay of course you pre-select it by the cover by by its cover by its um you know uh synopsis all right okay by its synopsis um and any possible elements that can drag you to the, the drag your attention to the to the book right so we have this pre-selection and you start reading it of course sometimes the book the cover is good but a story doesn't you know doesn't hook you up okay um okay so you start reading it okay uh and you read and if the first two pages or I'm not gonna put uh, points here because he didn't do that originally, right? But he says, you start reading, okay? The moment you feel like stop, like, like stopping reading, okay? Like, I don't wanna read this anymore, you just do it. You just shut up, shut the, the, the book and put it away, okay? Uh, and then you grab another one, okay? And you keep doing that, okay? Sooner than later, a book will come to your hand, to your hands that you will in the very first page go like oh my god what's going on here i really really want to read this this thing up okay uh or maybe you will just re once feel have this feeling and go like to up to page 16 and you just uh lose attraction to it it, it is perfectly possible okay uh but again sooner than later there will be a book that you will get to the end okay please for the love of whatever is most sacred to you don't don't have the the don't don't listen to the popular quote unquote wisdom i don't even know if you can call it popular wisdom or 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 or, or, or myth popular myth uh whatever uh that is like that says that if you start reading a book you have to go to to the end of it that doesn't make any sense okay this is a good tip okay this is a good word of advice for things in life, okay? But that's 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 not an absolute rule. Like, you know, the rule that says that everything you start, you should finish, okay? That is an important uh, word of advice, but that can be absolute, you know, because there will, there will be many, many things, countless things that you will start and you, you will see yourself forced for real to stop, to quit, okay? And books that don't, that don't attract you, are the first in line, first in line, I would say, you know, the first option to do that. Okay, so you never, never, ever feel like, please, if you just want the best, if you just, if you just, if I could, could just ask you to take away something from this episode is this, okay? Uh, surprisingly enough, more than anything else. Like, if you start reading a book and you don't like it, you stop immediately, okay? Don't do that to yourself. Don't torture yourself reading something you don't like, all right? Again, thank you so very much for listening up to this point. I'm Gary, your host for tonight, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.